Welcome to Independent Eye Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to change your MacBook Pro battery. This is the current battery health on it. If you can see the current max is at 2843 mAh. The health is at 45%. The original max is supposed to be 6330 mAh. And uh, the charge of course is at 75 percent but if you look at uh, the time remaining at 75 percent you can see that you could do internet browsing for two, uh, two hours 11 minutes you can watch about an hour of uh, movie and uh, there's some kind of standby for 12 days and stuff like that but then the cycle time is 351 cycles and the age is 5.9 so looking at it I think it's time to change the battery and so I have ordered for one on Amazon thankfully this has come in time even though this is uh, locked down right now and so let's get into it and replace this battery with a new one I have my MacBook Pro in front of me. I'm going to open the back and replace the battery. This is a 2013, late 2013 model. I just received the battery today. I ordered it on Amazon and here's the battery. It came with very specific uh, instructions. Do not ship by air. Okay, this was supposed to come about three days later, but somehow it's come earlier I'm going to open this package I'm going to show you the battery I'm going to open the back of uh, this panel and I'm going to I'm going to show you the insides of uh, the MacBook Pro also and uh, we'll see how we can replace the battery in there the package I've ordered on eBay came like this it's a nice uh, cardboard package it's uh, sealed on the outside I know that when we are handling batteries we should not use sharp objects especially metal objects but uh, to open this box I'm going to use this uh, knife and uh, open it and once that's done I will not be touching this metal object so that we will uh, not be damaging the battery okay here I've got this opened okay it comes in nice packaging nice soft uh, sponge on the top and as well as the bottom okay and uh, I'm gonna keep this packaging on the side I'm gonna show you the battery this is the battery okay here we see the battery it's got uh, almost everything that is required for this yeah the seal has come out but uh, I'm gonna put this back and uh, uh, let's hope that it's gonna work okay the date that has been put here is uh, February 10 2020 okay I just hope it's gonna work okay it comes with the adhesive on the bottom and uh, let's hope for the best yeah I'm going to open the battery, uh, the lap back side of the laptop now. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the small screwdriver I have. And uh, once I have this open, I'm going to open all of these screws. And once I have that open, I'm going to show you again. I'm not going to make this a long video by showing you the entire process. I'm just going to open the back cover. I'll show you how to remove the battery and how to replace the new battery if you notice there is a is a gap between the frame and the laptop that is because if I open this up you will notice that there's a bulge okay I didn't open one more screw if you notice the back cover you will see that there's a gap no matter how I press if I press it this side the other side is going to lift up if I press it the other side in 
this side is going to lift up that is because there is a bulge in the battery if you see this you will notice that there is a bulge in the battery this is more or less everything has a bulge but this one has the least amount of bulge the rest everything is bulged out and therefore we need to change this battery okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plastic rope that I have here I'm going to use this but before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery from the uh, laptop by pulling it out here okay I'm gonna remove this okay I will definitely be using a pride uh, a screwdriver here so that I can pull this out yeah I should just make sure that I do not damage this here okay I pulled it out I was able to pull that out okay so the battery connector is out here okay I've pulled it out and so now I'll remove uh, the screws that are holding this battery and the speakers in place so I have enough room to remove the battery so first I'm going to begin by removing the screws that are holding the speaker in we'll need to note what kind of screws these are so we don't mix them up okay so now I have this also out of the way the speaker also out of the way we've got all the screws saved up we have got few screws on the corners of the uh, laptop uh, battery board that's holding it in place you okay, have got this plastic rope and this is what I'm going to use in order to open this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it under the battery and I'm going to slowly pry it so that the adhesive at the bottom uh, is get is going to get looser okay it's a little tricky process in the sense of uh, it'll be a little hard to remove but let's remove as much as possible thereby we will minimize the risk of uh, damaging the board uh, the battery inside I'm gonna speed in this process now this it's equivalent to the WD-40 and uh, let's use this along with some tissue and clean that up so I applied some of that here and I'm going to just rub it on the board and clean up the area okay this is going to take me a while and so once I'm clean I'm going to come back and show you how to fix the battery in okay if you notice this is now clean this area is clean this area is clean and I've got the battery all I have to do is be able to set that in there okay so what I'm gonna do is before I even tape it in I'm gonna actually test if this battery is working or not how do I do that I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna open this up okay I'm gonna open this up uh, the screen is right there press the power button and let's see if it's going to chime and come to life yes 
this has come to life and this only tells me that this battery is working I'm gonna let it start up and I'm gonna shut down the Mac and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna stick the battery onto the Mac and then close it up and after that I'm gonna um, show you how the Mac is functioning okay so I'm gonna leave that there with that in place uh, all I have to do is make sure that I remove these this uh, piece of plastic that's on the top that will remove the part that conceals the adhesive okay so this is the top we have removed that if you notice the adhesive is in place there okay I'm going to flip this I know this is a little crude but I don't want that to move from place okay I'm going to flip this and put it into place here the only screw here is in this corner and therefore I'm going to stick the rest in place okay I shouldn't have stuck this over here but since that was plastic I stuck it over there I'm going to put this back to seal the components that are under that I'm going to seal that there okay I know this is in place we have to remove this um, plastic that's on the top okay it's exactly the same uh, the labels uh, look exactly the same this also looks exactly the same okay so everything looks the same and uh, I do not know if this is a genuine battery or not but I bought it off Amazon for 5600 rupees this is today's date is uh, 14th of May 2020 this is during this video is done during the lockdown okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this up and uh, once I'm done closing it up uh, I will show you if my Mac actually turns on completely I'll charge it up completely and I'll show you a battery uh, battery status also uh, and then I'll close my video okay it looks like it's ready to charge we can uh, tap on the battery monitor here so we can look at the battery health we are currently charging it's at 86 percent that is on this battery health app as well as uh, the macbook pro also is showing the same condition mac os health status this is uh, the health of the battery is good it says 104 uh, percent i think that's wrong that's basically basically calculating because the current max is 6558 mah but the original max is supposed to be 6330 so i think this is not the original battery okay and here we see the actual manufacturing date of this is 2016 okay so the date that is placed on the package is wrong it can't be 2020 this is 2016 okay it's already four four years and three months old okay so let's see how this is going to last it's charging and i hope uh, this is uh, going to last for a while thank you for watching uh, please remember to subscribe if you like the video remember to share and as always keep watching bye bye